good afternoon friends this is a demonstration of tangari prakash delta assembly for peri articular distal metaphyseal or proximal metaphyseal trauma based on the principle of how a wide base supports a fracture proximally you can look at this humerus fracture which would have otherwise gone in for a bicolumnar plating has been elegantly managed by a non invasive no stitch easy method producing absolutely excellent reduction with full function from day 3 i am showing a bone model demo here is humerus which we had used yesterday for a proximal humeral fracture uh, representation using a pen i am marking a distal radial comminuted fracture distal humeral comminuted fracture maybe even intraarticular fracture now the purpose is we are first going to pass a lateral epicondyle wire which goes up to the head of the humerus then a medial epicondyle wire which again goes to the head of the humerus then we are going to pass a transverse wire and then use two tangari clamps or tpts tangari prakash trauma system clamps to clamp them everything is done manually no power tools are needed using a handheld chuck first from the lateral epicondyle an entry is made and the wire is slowly progressed up the medulla of the humerus while it is being observed on the see arm that it is going straight as the wire enters once again we are going to push it in by withdrawing our chuck a little and being gentle the special wires are blunted one side and sharp on another side so by controlling the rotation we can ensure that it doesn't cross the opposite cortex once it has reached the subchondral bone of the humerus and gone through the entire extent of the medulla we start with the next wire which will be pushed from the medial epicondyle once again a special wire this time we are using a 2.5 mm wire is inserted it is inserted manually and rotated and pushed so that it enters the medulla as we progress the wire we have to loosen it push it back and tighten the jacob chuck so that we have a better hold to allow the wire to migrate and transmit through the medulla without crossing the opposite cortex we have to look into the cm and always ensure that the wire stop short of the opposite cortex so long as it is touching the opposite cortex or crosses into the shoulder will defeat the purpose of surgery now the next wire <coughs> is going to be a transverse wire from lateral epicondyle to medial epicondyle this wire has to be straight not curved and has to be passed parallel to the elbow joint the previously passed intramedullary wires will then be bent in accordance to the parallelity of the distal humeral condyle and will be clamped <coughs> by two clamps and just four wires and two clamps will be enough for all metaphyseal supra metaphyseal periarticular and intraarticular fractures of non weight bearing bones and periarticular fractures of even weight bearing bones like distal femur proximal tibia or a plafond the special tangari prakash trauma system clamps 
have 1600 percent times the pull out of jess 1400 times pull out strength of umax 650 times pull out 650 percent pull out strength of elizarov uh, slotted bolts and 400 percent pull out strength of elizarov cannulated bolts so this gives an extremely dynamic and extremely flexible combination of intra and extra medullary fixation the special instruments allow the wires to be bent at 1990 and our aim should be to keep the wires parallel to one another the distance or gap between the wires being compatible with the special Tangari Prakash trauma system clamps. The clamps are so special that a lateral push will snap the clamp. Thereafter, it will be impossible to remove the clamp from the wire unless we slide it out. So the clamp has to be loosened a little and after loosening, we will just snap the clamp from inside out and there you see it is snapped once it's snapped you can only slide it you cannot pull it out the same snap with the clamp is now snapped with the other parallel wire in an identical manner the same procedure is repeated on the opposite side and once the two wires are clamped appropriately to the special clamps which are a part of the instrumentation all we have to do is to tighten these clamps and our delta frame is stable ready and the patient can immediately start mobilizing his shoulder. It is very important to ensure that the wires remain parallel in case the distance between the wires is larger than the clamp size. All we have to do is to rebend the wires to ensure parallelity. This sort of clamping will ensure then the intramedullary wires stay divergent, whereas the clamp will try to keep them convergent. This will allow a linear telescoping motion, resisting rotation and angulation. So ideal conditions of Wolf's law that favors a fracture are done here so that without massive plates on lateral and medial side and lot of other disastrous work. We have done a mini invasive, non-suture, no blood loss surgery. Any metaphysical fracture like a distal femoral fracture in an elderly 81 year old lady has been treated by uh, TPSS clamps. And that's the patient who is mobilizing and walking badly, badly, Moribond, not fit for surgery, was done under local anesthesia. That's an elbow, shattered elbow. Again, instead of plates, this was put. And we can see that within six days, the patient has a near full extension and he has a full flexion on the table anyway. Once we conducted this course in India, the response was dramatic. And I can now demonstrate a case by Dr. Ganesh Ankum, one of the dynamic students. The previous x-ray he has treated just a few days back. And here you can see full flexion, excellent extension, just two clamps and three wires. <coughs> and you can see the fracture has got a hairline reduction. And the post-operative system, post-operative x-rays will show you how the Eiffel Tower with a wide base makes a reverse funnel 
which will assist telescoping and compression of the fracture site and help and assist in faster union this whole concept and philosophy has been discovered by professor mario tangari of italy rome who is my very close friend whose book i have translated for the indian academy of orthopedic surgeons and if you are interested in using these special clamps or buying the book or joining the course please message me in whatsapp in the number that i have shown you earlier and i shall be able to help you thank you very much thanks for enjoying this talk thank you